Hey again everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you're all staying at home, staying safe and staying self healthy. Um, and like me, having craft and fun. And I'd like to say thank you to all the people, and I mean all the people who are continuing to work because I'm still getting post. Um, I got this tonic craft and I know that means that the tonic warehouse and that is still working so thank you very much. So these are the backgrounds we made, these are them all dried out now. This one I actually took some of the pink sprinkles and sprinkled it over and this one I did it in the, with the blue sprinkles over it. I think that's a little bit too much but we shall see. And this is just a plain pretty one. This one would work awesome for an under the sea thing. This one is a just because one. <laughs> And then there's the pink ombre one. And then there's a green and blue bitza. In our house, when you get a little bit of everything, it's called a bitza. Or when Ryan's making dinner, he tells you we're having bitza tonight. So, bitza is used a lot in our house. And these are all the stamped images. I stamped them all once and coloured them all in and cut them out in my scan and cut and what I'm going to do now is I am going to go through the backgrounds and the images and whatever else I have and put together some cards and then I'll come back and we'll do them while we're together on screen. So, back in a Jeff. Hi again everyone, welcome back to JMC Creates. Thank you so much for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy what I do. Today we are doing part two. So I've gone through my stash and I've found some things I've prepared. I have like five cards sitting here. This is the first one. This one is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right? Piece of glitter card. Five and five by five and five. Cut down my background. Five and three by five and three. And then these, I've, these are the dies I've used. I have Alina Cuttle. Thanks. I've used these stitched rectangles from Aliexpress. I've used these stitched banners from Aliexpress. I've used tonic rectangles. And I've used tattered lace circles. So just basic dies. I've gone and I've put these all together using simple basic dies. That anybody who's starting out and die cutting. Those are the best things to buy first for rectangles and squares you don't really actually need to cut but stitched ones are pretty. So they are. I'm not sure if this one it takes a minute or two for this to stick to get her card. So I'm giving a little bit of assistance while I wait for that to stick. Okay. Um, my card base is actually five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. There we go. I'm 
right? So I have about an hour to do this. So let's hope it can get done as quick as possible before the mini terror shows up and steals Granny's workspace. Right, so I'm just going to stick some of these on behind the the back of this just to give it a little bit of oomph. I've also gotten out some flowers and some bows and things that I might want to add to give it a little bit of a little bit of an oomph. You know, just a little bit of get up and go, as long as it doesn't get up and get go. Right, and then that is going to go on there now. Hi now, brown cow. This is the hardest bit for me. It's deciding how to finish it. See, I have this big jar of resin flowers that I thought I might add a little of, you know, something different. I see much. Is there another one? Is it just something like that? You know, I like it. That's what matters. It matters what you like. When it goes to the charity shop, they can either like it or not like it. I really don't care. They're getting it for Dawson and. Whatever money they make off it is a bonus to me. Okay. Right there. What about... What about... What about... Um, oops. Some glue dots to hold that on there. Ooh, this is different. Same colour, different design. So you're going to go up there, okay? And then we need a few gems. And that's all we're doing to you. I think you're tea, Jackie. Oh, well, you can get peace to drink it. See, I like I like this dark purpley, purpley, purpley. But I don't have anything that is. It's like a brownie purple. What about that one? See, I coloured these. I'm not sure I have a pen to match that. Hmm. What shall we do? What shall we do? Decisions, decisions. I don't want to put more green on. 
and I've got blue. Blue. What about silver, maybe? What about silver? Shall we try a silver? Just because we can. Oops. And then maybe a green, a greenin, a big greenin. Which colour are green? Light, dark, or in between? Right, that's all we're doing for that one. Okay, that's number one. This is number one, and the fun has just begun. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, silver. This is how I store my gems in colour. Right, this is number two, and this time we're doing a... Uh, oops, I nearly forgot to... And I would forget then. Okay. Right. This time we're doing a four one eight by eleven and a half scored at five and three quarters. Okay. And this is a piece of holographic foil card. Okay. Um, as you can tell, I've cut my ma out of the centre of it, which is. This is the stamp I'm going to use. I actually stamped this with flitter glue and used gilding flakes on it. And then this is the map behind it. That I cut out of the centre of that. Okay. Right, and then this is the background that I've cut down to. That one will be four by five and five, and this one will be three and three quarters by five and three eighths. I want the lightest at the top and the darkest at the bottom. Oops. Yeah. Like that. Now, the flowers that I showed you I made the other day. Well, this is a similar one, only this is a smaller one, and it came from AliExpress. Okay, and I find it in my stash, along with the leaves. And I think it fits better with this. Because I'm only using it as an accent, it's not the main it's not the main attraction so the plan is you're going on there you're going on there and your leaves are coming out from the side and that's it and 
is a good way to make cards, I think. Is have fun making stamping some sentiments. Do a load. Because when I, when I do stuff, I do half a dozen at a time. Like, I wouldn't just make one background. If I was going to get my stencils out, I have an A4 folder with about 50 stencils in it. So if I'm going to get them out, I'm going to do quite a few at one time. <laughs> so I am. Um, okay. Right. Now, let me think. I think, I think, I think I need my scissors. There they are. Right. So a little bit of sticky on here that I want to dissect and put on the very edges of that. And then I'm going to put glue on the front bit. Like that. You see? So that you can... Wishes are the magic that in our... Wishes are the magic in our heart that cause beautiful things to happen. Isn't that gorgeous? That's one of the first stamps I ever bought. Sentiment stamps. And it's still one of my favourites. It's not something I shall ever get rid of. I'm just going to put you in there. The problem with this screw is once it sticks, it sticks well, but getting it to stick is... When you want it to stick straight away, is not viable. Right. So... And then once again we'll need gems. Okay, and this time we're definitely going for silver and pink. Silver, silver, silver. Okay. Ooh, there's a little bow. Pretty little bow. Right. So what are we going to do? Where will we go? One, two, one, two, three. Okay, three of that one. Silver, pink. Pink, 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 pink. Which pink? Pink. And pink. Pink and what other colour will I use? Different colour of pink. Oh look, that looks nice. Those would actually have been good on that other card. Look. Perfect. Oh well, too late now. Yeah, where am I going to put it? Let's 
is going to go for broke and press it. I like to put seven gems on. I know that's a little pedantic, but two, two and three. Odd numbers, always. That's card number two, though. Gosh, we're rocking and rolling today, people. We might actually purple pink. We might actually do all of these. So the next one is a six by six again, and this is with the blue and green one that we made. Okay, and I'm using some silver foil card. So I am behind this. And I've cut my layer right again. Like that. That's the back actually. The back is like a millimetre shorter than the front so that it gives you a leading edge, makes it easier to open. That's what the point of that is. Method in the madness. Okay, there's always a method in the madness. Oops, get back. Get back there, you beast. You little beastie poos. I've just realised my table's all dirty there from a cup. It on the backs of my cards. So I don't. There we go. Right. Now we can press down firmly. Okay, my hand's going to sleep. That carpel tunnel is driving me up the walls. Wakes me up every night. Right. This is a Crafter's Companion cotton foil plate that I had foiled and I'd put it in my background bits. And then I've cut, this is a tonic record angle that I've used. And the plan is to use some of our little tonic characters that we cut out on here. You know, a little dress on her, a little dress on her kitty cat. Now I normally cut my things out with the border around them on my scan and cut, but these ones, the clothes I had to go back in and cut because it looked quite funny. So I've gotten her a little ice cream. Is that all she's getting? I thought I had a frog. I did have a frog. And I thought I might give her a little frog to match the background. So let's stick this bit down first. That tape. Be careful, that tape lifts the foil jacket. So it does. And this um, glue, if you put it down and lift it up again, it will lift the foil off your image too. So you should be careful and only put it where you want it to go. Right? And we want to put sticky on here. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. There. Right. Now, we also want to stick you on the back of our wee girl. Our little lady. Pretty little lady. That's what I call pumpkin. Jade's little mini chihuahua. Hey, pretty lady. And then she comes over dancing. So, we're just going to set you about there. And hope that that works. And I think we'll all put your froggy on at the same level. The thing is now, how now brown cow, where did ice cream go now? Oh come on. I think it was literally sitting there two minutes ago, people. I have no idea what... Oh, it's on the back. It's on the back. I have no idea about a sentiment for this. Do I need that there like that? My finger's all glue. That's annoying me. Right. Poor Zeke's annoyed. It's not sunny the other day, so he doesn't want to sit outside. Now, the idea was to put that on. For some reason, this camera keeps shutting off and it's beginning to do my head in. It's like every time I do a card, it shuts off again. Somewhere about there and a sentiment there, but I know not what. So I'm just going to stick it down it anyway. And we will come back to that, or you will see it in the photographs, what I decide to do. I'm bringing this over so as I can estimate the right place where to put it. You see, there's a wee bit on there of glue. Just when everything's going along well. I'll get it off later. I'll take a minute and get it off later. Or I'll swap it out. Oh no, yeah, I have it done. I have it done. It's off now. Yeah. Right, anyway, sentiment somewhere. Flowers, you see, the idea was some pretty flowers, some pretty blue flowers as well. Like that. And the love we knew will come up to you one day. Mm -hmm. Like that, you see. And still a sentiment there, I think. But I don't want to stick them down yet until I have decisions, so that one's a later gear one. 
Oh, look, you see, there's a nice little white one with a green gemstone and it will go. I just want to curl the leaves up. Right, anyway. Oh, yes. Right, this one is another four and eight by eleven and a half scored at five and three quarters standard a6 card base piece of uh, gold foil card i get my gold and silver card foil in a shop called b and m it's ridiculously cheap Um, worth all, worth every penny. Okay. So. There we go. That's going on there like that. Right. And then this is the first background that we made. And, um. The sartonic glitter piece. And it's going to go on top there like that. Okay. Right. Right. So, what I had thought then was these were some Simon Says Stamp circle designs that came out in a stamp set with lots of encouragement Santa events a while ago. And the plan is to do that, but I have all these little bees and I wanted to put them on these. And then I wanted to make sure that they stood out, so I used my circle dies. Hardly a circle dies, and I cut out layers. Look at my nail. Oh my word, it's a nightmare. Like that. That's the plan. Okay, so now all we have to do is carry out the plan. Okay. So my, my tape is to hold it down immediately, but the glue is to hold it down long term, hopefully. Anyway, that's the method behind the madness. Right. Just start sticking and see how we go on. Okay. 
put you up there. That's as good as it gets. Okay. And I think, what time is it? Ten o'clock. I think I've probably been on long enough. So I will do the last one. I'll show you it and then you'll see it in the pictures what the plan is You go on there like that. And you're going on there. Like that. And you are going on there. Okay, and that would be number three, apart from the maybe a few gems. And I'm going to show you the last one. Is pink foil card and a pink background, and our flowers. Some leaves and a love you sentiment, and that's what would happen with that one. So, thank you so much for stopping that by. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're all safe and healthy, and hopefully, doing a little bit of crafting to um, occupy your time. And I've just put sticky all over the floor. So, um, I'll, you'll see the finished photographs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So, till next time, jaggy out.